Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Don Anderson, The Lone Star, Mortgage Broker Extraordinaire, NMLS 1946644. I am licensed in Arizona, California, Florida, Georgia, and the great state of Texas. Wanted to stop by and talk to you all today about recession. The boogeyman, everyone talks about recession. You guys probably keep up with the Federal Reserve and uh, Jerome Powell just came out yesterday, November 2nd, and announced that there will be another 0.75% uh, rate increase. Or basically in my lingo, 75 basis point rate increase. Um, though people say it doesn't directly affect the mortgage interest rates, it actually does because it, because it affects things like the treasury, how people buy bonds, how people buy stocks, how banks lend money. It actually affects everything from a trickle up level. So don't listen to the nonsense that it doesn't. So essentially what's going to happen is rates have probably already been priced in because this was predicted. Um, all the smart guys smarter than me in this business, uh, the banks, the lenders, they already predicted that the rates would actually go up 75 basis points. But at the end of the day, what I want to talk to you guys about, obviously you can't control that. I can't control it. I honestly don't care about it. Not sure if you do because you have bigger fish to fry, like you're paying your household bills. You have debt you're trying to get out of. People talk about recessions and they try to scare people. It's just another fear cycle. You know it's a recession, even though they say, oh, gross domestic product is up. It's not a recession, blah, blah, blah. You know your milk, eggs, bread, they're all up about 30% year over year. You know your gas is up from 2020, almost 50%. So you know that you're actually in a recession. But the question is, what are you doing to prepare yourself? Are you complaining about the recession while working on the same job with the same income, not making ends meet, not making enough money to get back, get by? You're grown. You've been through this before. If you're even 25 years old, you know that once prices go up, they never come down. Once prices go up, they never come down. A lot of people look for a magic change or a magic wave or the Federal Reserve, if they pivot, well, if they pivot, interest rates are going to be better. Price is going to go down. If there was no war in Ukraine, gas is going to go down. Um, oil is going to go down. If the green energy psychopaths aren't pushing green energy as much then uh, and blocking off all production in the United States, then prices will go down. At the end of the day, once prices go up, they stay there. From every part of the world, everything you buy, from toys to detergent, it never goes down. If that was the case, we gas would be back at 25, uh, 99 cent when I was a kid. It's just not going to happen. Nevertheless, you have to understand these cycles, these inflationary cycles are going to continue to happen. And people, I want you to look back and do some research. If you look at 2019, there was this thing called the federal, the Fed repo market. Banks wouldn't lend to each other. They have an overnight lending market where banks actually lend to each other based on the prime Federal Reserve interest rate and they give the money back after they lend it out and you know put it into ventures, etc. That's just how it works. Well, there was a thing called the repo market that lasted for about two years where the Federal Reserve was literally pumping $55 billion plus, I say plus because it fluctuated, per week into the repo market so banks would simply lend to each other and as you know the interest rates were near zero then then the pandemic hit interest rates went even lower you're always going to be in this cycle as long as we are in this type of society we're not based on gold anymore we're not backed by gold everything's going to continue to go up because you're always going to have madmen that want to print money now there's a great book called the creature from Jekyll Island. You can read it. It's a little extreme for some of you. Some of you might get it. Some of you might not get it, but it actually talks about the IMF, World Bank, uh, Federal Reserve, the monetary system, the banksters, as they like to call it in the narco-capitalist society or anarcho-capitalist society, where these guys actually control everything and manipulate markets, print money, etc. And at the end of the day, the rich always get richer. And when I say rich, I'm not talking about your millionaire down the street. I'm not even talking about your billionaire. I'm talking about those that run the show. 
they get richer and richer. If you look at the result of the pandemic, all the free money that was coming out, printed money that was supposed to help the little guy like you, me, your family, um, small businesses were shut down. Amazon for the first time in history hit a trillion dollar market cap, trillion dollar market cap. All your politicians, your Nancy Pelosi's of the world, somehow they, these people with $175,000 salary had made millions and millions of dollars in the stock market. When the pandemic hit, see, it's all about where you are and how you position yourself. Understand you are fighting an uphill fight, but you need to know your position. You may say, how does this relate to buying homes? I know I'm going off on a little tangent, but you guys know I have a finance background. At the end of the day, your preparation should be even bigger than buying a home. Don't be a slave to debt. You know, I actually counsel people for free about their credit. People call me daily they don't want to pay their credit, don't want to pay their bills. They may have had a debt from a decade ago and they feel like somehow it's going to magically go away. No, another servicer just buys that debt. These people continuously avoid the debt and the debt does what? Destroys their credit. It's a yoke around their neck. So they pay more in interest. When you pay more in interest, you're not able to do what? Maybe you're a church goer. Maybe you believe in tithing. Maybe you believe in just giving. Maybe you want to take trips. Maybe you want to plan for retirement or invest or start that business. These are things you cannot do because you're playing the game of a slave. You're going to, even though we don't print the money, you're going to have to play the game like they play. Recessions don't matter. Inflation doesn't matter. You need to focus on getting more income, but most importantly, not being a slave to debt. Then put your money together. You know, I do videos about if I were younger, what I would do, what I bought real estate at a younger age. It's no brainer. Now you need to focus on how am I going to build my empire knowing that everything is always going to shift economically because you do not control it. Think about this. I'll leave you with this. If you were in power and you didn't have a job, you just ran things, you controlled everything. How would you increase your wealth? You print more money. But the people below you, when you print more money, that makes money worth less for them, worth less, which means they need to do what? Work harder, build more, stay out of debt. Plain and simple. If you're looking to buy a house in the future, it can be a great investment. If you want rental property, commercial property, it could be a great investment. If you're going to start a business, it could be a great investment in yourself. But remember, the first thing you need to do is get out of debt. Next, you need to maximize your income. I don't want to hear any complaints about, well, I can only do this. The internet is abundant. Get a new skill, progress in your life, move up in your life. There are 97% of the people that see this video, just like 97% of the people in the world, don't want to do anything different. That's perfectly fine. What are you going to do? And as always, if you want to learn about starting a business, Pick up the book, Black Entrepreneur Survival Guide, available on Amazon.com. If you want to know how to get your family finances in order, from everything to life insurance and investing into an annuity or mutual fund, pick up The Assault on Middle Class America, also available on Amazon.com. Thank you for tuning in.